What is going on guys? So it is another edition of Yeehaw or Hell No, nah, and this one is a second song coming off of a new album. I reacted to the first one. It was Death Wish off of Jason Isbell's new album, and we are going to be reacting today to Middle of the Morning. Now this is a lyric video, but the album is coming out June 9th. So I wanted to give a second uh, review here. If you haven't seen the first one, you guys, uh, I think it's about 1,500 views. So you guys were really receptive to that one. That was called Death Wish. You can go check it out on my channel. Um, so this is the second one off the new album called Middle of the Morning. So let's just jump into this new Jason Isbell song that he released um, a couple, couple of days ago. So let's do it. Well, I tried to open up my window and let the light come in. I step outside in the middle of the morning and in the evening again. Yes, I. So it's the third or fourth time he's hit that really high note, which is new for Jason. I haven't really seen him go after that a lot, especially in the studio. He'll do that live sometimes um, if he's feeling it. But I'm really enjoying this off the onset of this song uh, just because he's, he's going after uh, not really uncharted territory, but less charted territory. So let's dive back in. To be grateful for my devils Call them by their names But I'm tired By the middle of the morning I need someone to blame Jason Isbell for a long time and I've always considered him a lyrical genius and this is one of those ubiquitous songs that like he makes the lyrics fit different situations uh, to me I would look at this as a the seven-year itch in a marriage or you know a, a marriage that has been maybe a decade a little bit longer and they're growing apart they don't know how to fix it um, they've, they've morphed into different people uh, that's kind of where I'm leaning at right now, especially, you know, a thousand days alone in my head, in my house, and, and trying to do something or fix something, and then by the middle of the morning, you're tired. Uh, that's kind of where I'm seeing it. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think, um, and let's jump back into the second half. Yes, I'm tired of living in the moment. Sleeping through the dream. I step out. That's deep. In the middle of the morning, and the roses hear the scream.
classic guitar playing kind of coming out right here. Phil's Almond Brothers like. So I never get too close. I just sit here on the tailgate like a farmhand's ghost. Watch the roses blow. Watch them wilt away and die. Till I notice I've been crying this whole time. So that was Jason Isbell and the 400 unit, uh, Middle of the Morning, which, uh, again, lyrically, I, something's going on while he was writing this album, for sure. Uh, the Death Wish hit me very hard. And this one, while the musicality of it was a little bit more upbeat, and like I said, the middle there, I think, uh, going into the bridge, you had kind of an Almond Brothers feel to it, which I like. I went to school in Macon, so listened to a lot of Almond Brothers. Um, the lyrics again, uh, it's like he is going through something, he is trying to express the story and, and make the story relatable to those going through the same kinds of things, that it, he's just so good at lyrics, he's so, so good at them, and again, he hit that those high notes that are not really where he goes a lot, again, he does it live but not a ton in the studio, so I enjoyed that part of it. Definitely a good song. I'm going to give that a... Yee-haw! For this one, a little bit slower paced and not as intense of a song as Death Wish, uh, lyrically or musically, but still a good song. I would have this on, and if you're not paying attention to the, ly the lyrics, I think it's you could bob your head and, and just let it play in the background, and I could definitely see this on some kind of show as background music, uh, Yellowstone, maybe in one of those pan shots they do of the mountains in Montana-esque kind of thing. It feels like that kind of a song. It feels like you could just kind of bob your head to it if you aren't super paying attention. But if you pay attention to the lyrics, uh, the writer is, is going through a tough time. So I don't know how closely related this is to what he's doing with Amanda, hopefully that they are good. Uh, anybody that knows about Jason Isbell knows Amanda Shires is his wife. They have a daughter together. So that fandom, you know. But this is a yeehaw for me. I enjoyed it. Uh, probably not the upper echelon of his music. Uh, for me, this is probably a middle of the pack. I wouldn't change the song if it came on, but I don't know how many times I would seek it out to listen to. So, but it is a yeehaw. I enjoyed it, and it's definitely it didn't lose my interest at all. So that's why I'm going to do this one. So, to everybody that has subscribed in the last couple of weeks, thank you guys so much. Yes, I'm talking to you right there. You, if you subscribed, thanks. And to any of those that haven't, we're still at about the 90% range of people that watch the videos haven't subscribed. So if you don't mind, just scroll down real quick. If you're on your phone, if you're on your computer, scroll down and just hit that little red subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time right here on Yeehaw or Hell Nah. And this time we got another Yeehaw, guys. So until then, Fam Jam, I am out.